Good evening. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has filed an appeal of his conviction in the death of George Floyd. Court documents show that Chauvin is representing himself in the appeal. In April, he was convicted on charges of second degree unintentional murder, third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. He was sentenced in June to 22 and a half years in prison. Now Chauvin is raising 14 issues in his appeal. Our Camaria Bray is digging deeper tonight, spoke to a legal expert on how the process could play out. Camaria, what did you find? Well, Chauvin is appealing the conviction to the Minnesota Appellate Court because of several reasons why he believes the trial was unfair. And he is also appealing a decision that denied him access to a public defender. It's been three months since Derek Chauvin was sentenced to 22 and a half years for the murder of George Floyd. And he's met his 90 day timeline to appeal that conviction to the state court of appeals. In an appeal, you don't get to present new evidence, a new argument, excuse me, new evidence. You just argue uh, that the um, that the court made errors of law in, in your case. Chauvin listed 14 issues that he feels prevented him a fair trial, such as being denied a new trial or a different trial location and not having the jury sequestered, given the amount of attention the case received. But, the, you know, he could prevail on one issue uh, that would cause a reversal of his conviction. On top of the appeal process, Chauvin doesn't have an attorney. His criminal trial was paid for by the Minneapolis Police Association, who stopped paying after his We're sentencing. Doing. He would prefer the state to provide his representation. He sent documents to the Minnesota Supreme Court stating, I was denied representation by the public defender. These are attorneys who represent defendants when they can't afford one. He's appealing to the state Supreme Court saying, I currently have no source income besides nominal prison wages, nor do I own any real property or vehicles. He also said, my only assets are two retirement accounts. I would face a significant penalty for early access to these retirement funds. Public defenders appellate office is, are probably some of the best appellate attorneys in the state. But if he doesn't get one. He wouldn't be the first person to handle his appeal pro se from a correctional facility. And uh, they will make uh, resources available to him. They're obligated to give him access to legal research. Our legal expert says the appeal decision could come a year out from now. Now, although the police association paid for Chauvin's legal representation during the trial, the state is also paying Chauvin's defense attorney $5,000 for work he did in preparation for an appeal, any other fees associated with the trial, Chauvin will have to pay and was denied the option to have those fees waived. Back to you.